Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on Mail.dat and Mail.xml, one of a continuing series of educational webinars from Windowbook. My name is Monica Lundquist, and I am Postal Affairs and Technical Support Manager here at Windowbook. In today's webinar, we will be providing a high-level view of both Mail.dat and Mail.xml. We will discuss the definitions of each of these terms so that you can clearly differentiate between the two. We will also discuss how Mail.dat and Mail.xml work together. For example, Mail.dat and Mail.xml are the two primary types of data files that are accepted by the Postal Service through Postal One for purposes of communicating mailing information electronically. We will also cover what types of tools that you need to be able to take advantage of these data files and to be able to efficiently manipulate the data within them. And lastly, we will talk about the future of Mail.dat and Mail.xml. While we will not be discussing the technical specifications of these data files today, we do welcome any technical questions that you might have. So go ahead and send those to us. We'll forward those to our technical folks who can provide those answers, and we'll send those out later to the entire group. So what exactly is Mail.dat? Mail.dat is an industry standard database format, and its purpose is for communicating mailing information. The specification for Mail.dat was created and is maintained by the ID Alliance organization. Mail.dat files may be output from mailing pre-sort software or from equipment such as multiple line optical character readers. Essentially, Mail.dat summarizes all of the information about a mailing with the exception of the names and addresses. This allows for communication of very detailed mailing data without compromising confidentiality. This standard file format allows various parties that are involved in the mailing process to easily exchange mailing information, knowing that it's in an industry standard, easily recognizable format and without the need to re-enter data over and over again. Mail.dat is a relational database, and it's actually made up of a number of individual data files that together provide all the information for a mailing. The graphic at the bottom of the slide shows a set of Mail.dat files for a mailing job. Each individual file is identified by its file name suffix. For example, the file ending in .mpu is the mail piece unit file which contains data describing the mail piece or the mailing unit that's being mailed. The file ending in .csm is the container summary file, which contains data that describes all of the containers that have been created during the mail sorting process, whether that's a computer pre-sort or an MLOCR sortation. The current mail.dat specification allows for up to 21 different file types, depending on what is needed to accurately describe the mailing. Most typical mail.dat files, however, contain around 10 mail.dat files. There are some files that are required to be present in the mail.dat file set. These required files include the header file, which is the who, what, and when of the mailing job. Also required is the component file, which is the description of an individual mail piece component, such as an envelope, or an insert for letter type mailings, or in the case of a publication, it might be a magazine and a supplement for a periodicals flat mailing. The container quantity file is also required, and this details the quantity and rates of each three-digit and five-digit zip within a container, such as a tray or sack. The container summary file is also required, and this details the quantities, weight, and destinations of the mailing containers. Some additional required files include the mail piece unit, or MPU file, which is the set of components which make up the mail pieces. The MPU component relationship file, or MCR, is a table which shows the relationship between the MPUs and the components. In other words, it shows which components are associated with each mail piece unit. The Mailer Postage Account File, or MPA, includes information on the mailer's permit and account information. And the Segment File, or SEG, 